Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add a simulator port to your i6 transmitter. You could always just buy one of these uh, simulator cables and plug it into the back and then, and then you'll have your simulator port. But I think it would be better just to always have this port available to you so you don't have to always find, find the, the, this little simulator cable. So what I'm going to do is show you how to mount one of these. Um, this is a 3.5mm audio port jack uh, that's a panel mount uh, to the back side of the transmitter and uh, I'll show you which wires that you'll need to connect to and uh, this way you'll always have the ability to just plug it right into your computer and uh, run your simulators. First you're going to want to remove the four uh, Phillips screws uh, from the back. Uh, I've already done that. And then uh, you're going to open it up. There'll be two plugs that plug onto the circuit board. One is the power here, and one is to the trainer port. I'll put that aside. And uh, the two uh, pins on the back of the trainer port that you're going to solder to is this ground pin and this is the PPM pin. So those are the only two uh, solder pads that you're going to want to solder to. I want to mount my uh, simulator port right here. So I'm going to drill a hole. I already marked it. Uh, drill a hole about the size of this audio jack, about the size of that. So I'll come back after I drilled it. So I've drilled the hole and I mounted the uh, audio jack. So it looks nice and clean. Next, I'm going to solder two wires uh, between uh, here. Maybe this is the ground pin to the ground and uh, this pin here to the PPM. So I'll do that. And that's it. So see, not very pretty, but it's going to work and it's going to hold. I might throw some hot glue around the side of this so that it uh, doesn't move around too much and maybe hold down the wires a little bit more. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to slap it back together. Make sure you plug in these two plugs and make sure the wires when you plug them in that uh, I believe this set here uh, does sometimes get in the way of the, uh, the gimbal. And uh, so sometimes maybe put a little hot glue and hold down the the cables to the back plate <clears throat> so they won't interfere um, yeah so just put it back together uh, plug in a uh, three and a half millimeter audio extension cable between here and your computer and you should be good to go I uh, hope you find this uh, informative uh, uh, like subscribe and uh, thanks for watching